What's up, knights? It's the Dad Tab here, and welcome back to Stomping Land. There was a video that I made a few days back that I was going to upload it instead of this one. However, I felt it was a little bit incomplete in the editing process, in the sense of where I didn't really know what to say because I didn't have it written down and I didn't really know how to speak of any of the things I spoke of. So instead, I will do a little shorter video that will just say a few highlights of what I was going to say and then the main thing that I spoke of for maybe six minutes or maybe a bit more in that one. And this is almost a little bit of a follow-up video to the latest Stomping Land one I did which for some reason turned more popular than I anticipated. It's good that it became so popular, but I thought it was a bit strange too because I was not used to it. Anyway, what was that video that never got uploaded about? It was about suggestions for the developers and for the game. And there were a few suggestions I thought of for the game in particular. One, uh, a few of for the tribes, like having more, a uh, great variety in teepees, having you being able to customize the insides with boxes that you can put stuff in and stuff that will not despawn unless the house is destroyed, and things as such. And for just for an example, that particular one with having boxes inside your house that you can store things in is in case you die so you don't have to refarm everything. Which is a pain in the ass to say the least. But anyway, that was for that. Then I also had a few dinosaur thing suggestions, like one is fix the bloody AI for most of the dinosaurs that are already in, or basically all of them and then re-add what you removed, or what they removed being the Puertasaurs and the herding things, because I haven't seen them since the latest update. That was a while back. There's a Carno somewhere, uh, which I actually do want to find. But that's things that happened. Uh, what else did I speak of with the dinosaur stuff? Yeah. Uh, I was speaking a little bit of how people might get bored of the amount of dinosaurs even if they will be added with this next patch because after a while they will think that this isn't enough and it's just the same. So what I thought with that was like having, you know how there's this island, Wayneth Island, how there would be a multitude of different islands all having their own amount of species and variations of species, variations of dinosaurs and maybe skin patterns, maybe some are more feathered because it might be a snowy island or it's a deserty island and say maybe the desert one has uh, maybe a few carcarodontosaurus instead of T-Rexes and stuff just for the variation bit. And that's just things that I thought of, but that is not the thing I spoke of the most that I find the most important. Because what I need, or basically the entirety of the community requires from the developers is updates of the game. Because what do we hear from the developers, or Jig in this case? It's a few forum posts every now and again that says just what he's go either going to release or what he has been working on, which, in all fairness, is not really that big of a deal. The problem is that we aren't really seeing any form of progress, apart from a few pictures that don't really tell us anything. So, what I and probably most of the other members of the Stomping Band community would suggest for the developers is to put out updates a little bit more frequent. And then you might think, well, we can't because we don't keep having these updates where we add dinosaurs and where I now can mount a Carno. But no, but where uh, adding new dinosaurs, adding new mechanics, new things to build and so forth. Understandable. 
fully understandable. I'm just saying updates in any form, a little bug fix, anything you might have changed over the past week, anything you have worked on, anything unless you want to leave it for a really big patch, release it. Something, Maybe it's just a test thing, up, uh, update the game with it just so we can try it out, thus you can get a greater... Uh, you get greater support, you get greater testing and so forth, so you will progress with the making of the game a bit more and your community won't be angry all the time because you are not updating it. Because, first of all, when you released the early access, you... I'm speaking as if I'm speaking to the developers, I don't even know if they will be watching this, but anyway. They, I will say instead, they promised that they would have, like, or try to have out one update every week uh, at the start. And what happened was one up update, or maybe two, I think it was only one, and then radio silence for three months until they said they're updating to Unreal Engine 4, which they could have informed the community of before they informed the newspaper or uh, web page or whatever it was they told. And then, after that, have uh, told them instead. And please don't walk away from me, I'm just trying to build something so that I can eat. Come back here, you stupid little car no tour. There we are. Uh, just quickly, before he walks away too far... Um, so what was I going to say? Uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, just telling us more things and all of that kind of jazz. But as I said, the most important thing to uh, us is that we see some progress and development in the game. Without any form of, well, proof that you're actually doing shit, we will be a little bit disappointed in you, and you might have seen, if you have read the community, uh, or the forums, that there is a bit of rage. Which I, in all fairness, do understand. And it is all because you promise one thing, and then you take ages for it to come. Now I know one of the updates should come sometime this weekend, if you keep your promise. And it would add the more dinosaurs, which I am quite happy about. As long as you have a good AI for them and fix the AI for these ones. Because, quite frankly, I couldn't care less about new dinosaurs unless there is a good AI for the ones that are currently in the game. But, nonetheless, it's still a cool thing and I wouldn't mind having it added. I need that Carno to move before I can eat the fish. Or the food. That's not fish. The fish are back there. So this is... This video basically has been to both tell you what we as the community want when it comes to the updates and also a few suggestions from myself and then a little bit of ranting because everyone wants to rant now and again and I tend to do it uh, once a week just to get out all of my worries and other stuff and there we are so yeah that's basically all I wanted to say uh, updates more frequently with bug fixes or just something you want to test out so that you don't necessarily have to test by yourself before you introduce it to the public because there, there's, there's one thing I could state if you released it to early access apart from getting more funding what was your reason? Because early access is there for players who have been looking at the game quite a lot to test it out and to help the developers in developing the best game they could possibly get by allowing the buyers of the ones who have bought the game, consumers I'll say, uh, to test all the things out and help the developers with whatever they put out. That's the basic gist of Early Access, if I have gotten it correct. 
allowing the consumers to test the product and helping the co-developers make it a better game. But since we barely hear anyone and there is barely any updates, there is really nothing we can do. And it's it really sucks, because we want to help, we want this game to be a good thing, we want to reach out with the suggestions, however, we are a bit afraid, because since we don't see any form of update or any form of thing that tells us you are actually working on the game, apart from a forum post, that doesn't really help, because you never answer to what the comments say anyway, we feel a bit left out. And it kind of sucks. So, yeah. Sorry about the rambling. Sorry about this maybe short video. And sorry about it being late. But, as I said, I didn't have another video prepared yesterday. And I fell asleep right after I told myself this is not good enough right now. So, yeah. So this will have been this video of me riding a Carnotaur, and I just realized I can just ride past this one. I was just afraid of the Ankylosaur, which I can easily run away from. But, yeah. Anyway, I'm looking forward to the next update whenever it comes. I will make a video of it, and I might stream a little bit of it if I want to in the start, just to find things. And you could join me on the, on the tour nights, if you would want to. And... Yeah, so thank you very much for watching, comment, like and subscribe if you want, especially the last part if you want to join the knighthood today. Knight salute to you! And whilst I'm riding this beautiful Carnotaur that needs a little bit of better animations at some points, especially in the running and fighting part, uh, yeah, knight salute! And I will see you next time.